This is Simon Curtis, and this is Tony the Frog. Tony arrived in the most interesting way. Simon found him in a package of lettuce. Now this frog couldn't be put back into the wild because it was too cold for the frog to survive. So Simon kept him and named him Tony. They're now friends. Or as friends as a frog and human can be. Anyway, I love this story, but I have one question. Why was Tony in the salad? I'll tell you why. Over the past decade, there have been 40 recorded sightings of small animals ranging from mice to birds and to frogs. There's definitely the possibility that more got in without being recorded. And it's not just salad, it's all types of non-perishables. And one of the most shocking parts is that 10 critters survived through the whole thing. They survived harvesting, transportation, packaging, being stored on a shelf, and the horrified or delighted screams of the people who found them. So one of the reasons that the animals are getting into the produce is because the farms to get the produce are on the land of the animals who live there. Maybe a mouse lived on a field that got converted into a commercial farm and then continued to live there. Eventually, this mouse gets scooped up and taken to a processing plant. So yeah, little critters have been appearing in grocery store produce. Now, I'm not telling you to check your food a whole bunch after opening because the chances of this happening are really small. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in a week. Or two.